and gluing the siren whistle onto that CD while the glue's drying. I'm just using super glue. While the glue's drying, we'll just watch this one go again so we can remember how it works. You can blow that up first and then put it over there or put it over there and blow through the bottom. The disadvantage with blowing through the bottom is any dirt that is picked up off the floor or the desk or whatever you're going to be putting into your mouth. If you blow it up and then twist it, that holds it sealed until you let it go. And that is the noise that interested Resonant Theme on his channel. It's not supposed to make that noise, it's supposed to be silent. But he likes that sort of thing because it's resonating. So he's expanded on it and done several other types of um, whistles, in effect. So that's what we're going to try with that one in a minute. To stop that one making that noise, I put a weight on there to hold it down. Conveniently, my little coil of solder will do that for us. It's a free fit on there. Some people seem to think it's actually supporting the balloon, but it's not, as you can see. But um, it does give us a bit of extra weight. Let's see if I can do that without twisting it. There we go. So that's completely killed the sound because it can't bounce up and down and resonate. But it still floats freely. What it's doing is it's creating a cushion of air underneath the CD so that it can slide around. As soon as that cushion disappears, then it no longer slides. And you can probably see the moisture from my breath has condensed on the surface. So if you don't want the moisture of your breath in there, you need some sort of air pump instead to blow it up. I wonder if that glue's dry yet. I have a tendency to rush things. Okay. Well, I know... Um, Well, no, I don't know. Let's just see if it still makes a noise. I'm not sure if my microphone will be picking it up because I'm using a wireless microphone attached to my glasses. I just disconnect it. There it is. And if I put it down there. takes quite a bit of pressure to make that work. So I'll probably start off with the bigger balloon first. Oh, I'm talking towards the phone and the microphone's down there, but I think you'll still be able to hear me. Although it's a bigger balloon, the pressure that it's going to produce is probably not the same. You can hear that the disc is rotating in there, but it's not enough to make the actual siren sound.
just been able to hear it but I think as soon as we put that down it's slowing the airflow down so much that we don't actually get the, the whistle effect Just getting the float. It is floating, but One of the other tricks is to put one balloon inside another, which increases the pressure. All right, so I'm pushing another balloon inside. That will double the pressure, which will make it twice as hard to blow up. And then we'll try and put it on there. listening to it first. Yeah, it's not really doing it, even with the extra speed or pressure. I think it's going to work, but we will just see it work as a hovercraft. We're not getting the uh, siren effect. Not that this one's a very good siren anyway, but at least we've tried. It's hard work. So I'll keep my eye open, see if I can find one of the toy ones which are easier to blow. Just thought I'd try and blow it as hard as I could so we could 
hear what it does, but that's it. Thanks for watching. You'll always find more information down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. You might like to subscribe just here. Over here is my latest video on my channel. And down below is a playlist related to what you've just been watching. Thanks again for watching.